How are you doing everybody, Jonathan here. And in this video and in about five minutes or less, I'm gonna tell you about my extremely negative client and her first day at boot camp and how I handled it. So I don't do my uh, intro consultations anymore. I hired somebody else to do it. So when somebody starts in for the first day, I'm essentially meeting them for the first time. So I have to speed meet them. And the first question I ask is, are they nervous? Are they scared? Whatever the case may be. And then they kind of gave me the run through of what they were going through. She said she was a little bit nervous, so I did my whole try to make her comfortable thing. And then we immediately started to go into our group training workout class. Now, mind you, this is a uh, this is one of my smaller classes, my 7.30 a.m. class, so there are like six people. Um, we have one gentleman that's like over 300 pounds, but everybody else is like in fairly, like really good shape. So I'm sure she looked around and she felt like, oh man, I'm out of place. And then here's the thing about my, uh, my client that's a little bit bigger. He actually moves really well now. He's in his third week and he's all about it. So I noticed as soon as we started the workout, she started to feel defeated because she was looking at everybody else and then she was watching them work out. And then she was like, I hate exercise. Like, you know, she was essentially saying like, I don't wanna be here. And when you are dealing with somebody that has not exercised in a while, I came to find out that she hadn't worked out in four years. When you're dealing with somebody that hasn't exercised in a while, and they're in a group setting. Um, if they feel like they're gonna fail, that's what they hate. It's not they, that they hate exercise. They hate the idea that they're probably gonna fail publicly, all right? So it's your job as a trainer to calm them down because my visceral reaction, since it's been a while since I had a new person in this class, my visceral reaction was, all right, I'm gonna talk to her, and I'm gonna say, well, maybe this isn't for you, maybe you need personal training. But instead, uh, as we modified the exercises down to things that she was comfortable with, that she could do confidently, she was much happier. And by the end of the class, she had a huge smile on her face. And then she was able to tell me, you know, it's been a while, I've gained a lot of weight, you know, she might be low on confidence. And that's why she struggles. So if you have a client that says, I hate this exercise, or I hate exercising, usually what they're really saying is, I hate failing and I don't wanna fail. I don't like doing things that make me feel small. Um, so you have to get them around that and then give them something that gives them a lot of confidence. And then when they get stronger, they're, the things that they said that they previously hated, they will learn to love, okay? Well, that's my tip of the day. Uh, don't be deterred when somebody new, especially somebody new says, I hate exercise and it's negative in the beginning because they're probably just scared. If they're negative, like six months down the line, you probably just have a, a, a bad apple on your hands and you need to cut them loose. But that's my tip of the day. Um, I have more classes to run. Well, actually, I'm off for the rest of the day. I'm going to have Nicole teach the rest of the classes. So I hope you found this helpful. Um, remember, if you have any questions or comments, put them in the comment section below. Remember, if you're looking to start your own boot camp and you're looking to uh, get a brand that works, you can inquire about a BFF boot camp franchise or a BFF boot camp license. But that's it. Um, as always, remember to eat healthy, hydrate, drive safe. Stress levels all get rest. Don't stop anybody. Love your client. They'll love you back. I'll see y'all tomorrow or the next one. And you have a good one.